Hi everyone. I'm Hadi. I'm a CPE student at BCC. My topic is why ESL courses are so important for new immigrants. We are new, new immigrants. We are happy to study English now. But unfortunately, most of us will not have chance to continue to study here next month because government will cut financial support to ESL. Financial support for ESL courses are extremely important for me and most immigrant adults who want to contribute to Canada in future. I will explain it in three aspects. First, the content of ESL courses. Second, the relationship between ESL courses and the student's future. Third, our right to receive fundamental education. Now, I'll talk about the first aspect, the content of ESL courses. ESL courses help students to grasp the English oral, reading, and the writing ability to provide access to college or job, and to give us the ability to fit in community. There are many different kinds of ESL courses. Here is ESL at VCC. There are many different kinds of courses. ELSA, Outreach, CPE, ELS, PACE, and some others. Compared with ELSA, ESL usually helps the students who have relatively higher level English to improve their English skills. Some of my friends have finished CPE courses at VCC and are studying college now. Their English is much better than mine now, although we were on the same level two years ago. So ESL is effective. Now, I'll talk about the second part, the relationship between ESL and our future. ESL courses help immigrants to remove the barrier of language for their future success and to better contribute to the Canadian economy. Many newcomers to Canada have education and experienced specialties that they want to share with the Canadian public but they have language barriers. For example, I was a professor in China, and I also worked as an engineer before, but I need to have my credentials recognized in Canada. The first step is to remove the language barrier. If I can finish my CPE course and have my credentials recognized, I'm sure I can find an appropriate job and make more contributions to the Canadian economy. Now, I'll talk about the third part, our right. New immigrants are taxpayers. They should have the right to receive fundamental education just like every other Canadian. Newcomers want to make Canada their home and want to contribute to the Canadian economy. They are taxpayers like every other Canadian, so government should not discriminate against them and should provide them with an affordable education, which is one of the fundamental bases of life. In conclusion, ESL courses are very important for new immigrants, and the government should continue to support the courses financially. In order to help newcomers to fit in community, to move the barrier for their future success and give them equal rights for education, governments should continue to financially support immigrants in adult education. I'm sure the government will reconsider their decision when they better know the importance of ESL. 
That's my report. Thank you.